uh, we will solve quadratic inequations with the help of a method known as method of intervals of wa or wavy curve method <coughs> how we are following it simply see one example i'm taking x square minus 5x plus 6 is greater than or equal to 0 first thing you factorize this it will be x square minus 3x minus 2x plus 6 is greater than or equal to 0 so it is x minus 3 into x minus 2 greater than or equal to 0 in that matter we just plot the critical values of x on the number line what is here x minus 3 equal to 0 that is giving you 3 x minus 2 equal to 0 is giving you 2 small thing to the left side and big thing to the right side like this make the intervals first interval positive it depends on the sign of this as the sign of x square is positive so first interval is positive so i just recommend all the time you make the sign of the x square as positive and start in this fashion second interval is negative third interval is positive so on if so or other intervals are needed extreme left always you write minus infinity and extreme right you always write plus infinity so now see what is the meaning of this this means greater than or equal to zero means positive so it is positive in this interval and this interval so what the values of x can be it either in this interval or this in this interval we just write minus infinity to 2 it is exclusive always infinity and equal to is there so 2 is inclusive or means union from 3 to infinity in this interval 3 is inclusive and infinity is exclusive open interval this is closed interval so x is lying here to make the expression greater than or equal to 0 this is very basic wavy curve example what precautions we take for solving the wavy curve problems uh, with the help of wavy curve in fractions I am giving you certain things that never go for cross multiplication. For example, I am taking x square minus 2x plus 5 divided by 2x square. You better write 3x square minus 2x minus 5 is greater than or equal to 1 by 2 okay don't be tempted to cross multiply it like this why i'm telling you because this is a variable if some constant thing is there two three four like that then you can go for it so what process you follow you just bring it here that means you just write x square minus 2x plus 5 divided by 3x square minus 2x minus 5 is greater than 1 by 2 uh, sorry you just write minus 1 by 2 greater than 0 so make a habit in uh, bringing to this side only now you just take the LCM one more technique I will tell you in between 2 into 3x square minus 2x minus 5 so it is coming out to be 2x square minus 4x plus 10 minus 3x square plus 2x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 0 so I am solving it further see this is going to give you minus x square this minus 4x plus 2x is giving you minus 2x and this 10 plus 5 is giving you 15 and here in the denominator you are getting 2 into 3x square minus 2x minus 5 is greater than 0. So if you take minus common here it will be x square 
minus 2x plus uh, is x squared plus 2x minus 15 2 constant thing can be taken to that side multiply it to 0 it will uh, vanish so this is 3x squared minus 2x minus 5 what is happening on taking minus common the sign is getting changed it is greater so it will become less here now you bring the another technique I told you uh, the first technique don't go for cross multiplication second technique bring the denominator in the numerator so this can be brought in the fashion I am writing 2x minus 15 into you just multiply the square of the denominator here I'm rubbing it here see what is coming out to be less than 0 into that thing square of anything means positive if you multiply positive thing to both sides it is not going to change the sign of inequation square of anything is positive if I multiply this thing to balance it out with 0 it will remain 0 so no need of writing here so what actually happening by doing this thing the denominator is coming to the numerator side so now we are left with x square plus 2x minus 15 and here 3x square minus 2x minus 5 is less than 0 now you factorize this what it will be x 5 and 3 x plus 5 into x minus 3 you factorize this this will be 3x square 15 that is minus 5x plus 3x minus 5 So this is x plus 5, x minus 3, this is what if you take x common 3x minus 5 and x plus 1 less than 0. So, so many factored things are here. Now see how I am plotting on the number line and finding the interval in which the given thing was positive so it is coming out to be on the number line the critical points are what the critical points are minus 5 3 5 by 3 minus 1 smallest thing to the extreme left that is minus 5 then minus 1 then 5 by 3 then 3 now you make semicircles first semicircle positive as I made the coefficient of x square as positive then negative then positive then negative extreme left positive and here you write minus infinity here plus infinity now we have to see it is less than 0 so we have to pick up the intervals where the thing is negative this and that so what the solution is x should be between minus 5 and minus 1 both exclusive because equal to sign is not here or it will be here 5 by 3 to 3 so you follow this uh, method and you will get the solution of inequations in quadratic form very easily one more thing i am telling you suppose i have to find the maximum or minimum value of a function in quadratic form x squared plus 2x plus 1 maybe 2 x minus 4 like this I think is there we have to find the maximum or minimum value of this 
just follow the technique you take let the value of this in uh, this uh, expression be y now you make a quadratic equation in the terms of x what it is coming out to be y x minus 4 y minus x square minus 2 x minus 2 is greater than is equal to 0 not greater than or anything now so if I take minus common it is x square and here taking x common this will be x minus 2 so I'm taking x singly x y x uh, minus 2 this is x I'm taking common y minus 2 minus I have taken common and this is 4y plus 2 I'm taking minus common you just me now see what is happening that uh, x is real so discriminant of this thing should be greater than or equal to 0 that means y minus 2 square b square minus 4ac minus 4 into 1 into this thing 4y plus 2 should be greater than or equal to 0 you are getting an equation in the terms of y solve it by wavy curve method you will see minimum and maximum value of y which is actually the value of the expression given here hope you are understanding okay